Good morning, guys. Welcome to Tea Time with Alohan Coco. Today, I was thinking of doing like a little vlog, like what I do on my day off, because there's just so much I want to get done in one day, and I try to jam pack it all. Anyways, I'm here at Target. So a couple of days ago, I came um, and I saw the coolest accessories, and I left them thinking I'll just be back later and pick them up. By the time I came back, they were all sold out. And like, they're like these exclusive pieces. Um, they're like pearl accessories. And I can't seem to find it anywhere. They don't have it online. They're sold out in every store. I don't know what the deal is. And then I looked it up and supposedly some stores are like bringing it back because they put it out too early. I don't know. It's like a whole deal with that. Anyways, so I'm here at Target. I want to see if I find it. Then I want to go to a couple of other places and I'll take you with me. So let's go. So I made it. Hopefully they have the items. If they don't have the items, I mean, I'm going to give up because no pa tanto, but. As soon as we arrived to Target, I noticed that their dollar spot was completely filled with incredible pieces for spring and even summer. I decided to share this with you guys because not only can you use these items for spring and Easter, but I also thought some of these items were amazing for teacher appreciation week that is around springtime. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Maybe you can uh, pick up some items now for a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, like the super cute little bear. Um, this this would be great for a teacher for teacher appreciation so i'm just going to leave this here take a look at everything they have and see if you become inspired
Okay guys, so I finished at the dollar spot, but I have to show you some of the items here at Hearth at Hand. Oh my God, look at this, how cute. It's one of those pour over coffee makers. Look at how pretty. And they have so many pretty things here. Look at these little, this is so pretty. And the florals for summer and spring. Oh my God, how pretty. I love these. I absolutely love these. Oh, how pretty. Look at this, a recipe box. How pretty. book for your recipe book. So pretty. Oh, they have a bunch of like little cute spring plates. I love this for spring, but I also love it for summer. Backyard barbecues and things like that. Look at how pretty these are. So these are $3, these bowls. And then they have these. I love these. These are very inexpensive and they're BPA free. But a lot of the times I get plates and um, tableware from here. Let me show you how inexpensive it is. Look, these trays are a dollar. You can host an event or like a little Valentine's party for your kids or a birthday party. And then everybody can just take all their plates home. These are a dollar. These bigger um, plates are 50 cents. These smaller plates are 50 cents the cups are 50 cents and then they have like the ones with designs that are a little bit more expensive but i love getting plates from here people are, are always asking me where i get all the cute little plates for the girls and they're here and they're super cheap 50 cents a dollar they have the uh, place settings if you have a cute little party for the girls they have these little cups with the lids and the straws they have them for boys too they have a bunch of colors for eight dollars you get um this 18 piece set it's four cups with the lids and the straws for the girls lunch boxes i pick up these um little silverware sets it has knives forks spoons for three dollars so i get that for their lunch boxes for school these are the cups i'm telling you about they come in the packs and then they sell the straws aside and then they have those little striped ones that i got for valentine's day for them they also have a little tumbler i just think it's so cute if you're doing a little party at home for spring or whatever a cute option for tableware. So I got some things and I'll show you guys when I get home, but I just stopped by here and look what this is, a pink drink with chocolate coat foam, a Valentine's drink. I think we need to try it. Okay, so we just got in the car and I picked up the pink drink with chocolate cold foam and I'm gonna try it. I'm so excited because it's like the first Valentine's-y thing I see at Starbucks. Maybe I'm wrong, but I kind of just stick to my regular and don't try so. I kind of like it. It's like like a chocolate strawberries. Oh my God, that's so good. I got a tall one because I also got my tea and my tea really hypes me up. Like it gives me like the shakes and stuff like that's how oh my god this is so good that was delicious guys i got the tall and i did it without the strawberry inclusion one thing about me is i do not like to have drinks where fruit gets stuck in the little hole where you're sipping so i always get it without in, um with without inclusion no inclusion so no little bits of fruit or anything like that oh my god that was delicious so good i got a tall because it is it's very sweet uh, like very sugary um, anyways, so up next, I'm gonna go do something. I'm gonna go do something that I swore I would never, you would never catch me doing that. But here I am falling in the trap. I'm really good about not really doing, like if I say, no, I'm not interested in that, I'm really good about sticking to it and like not doing it. <laughs> but this, this trend really got me in a chokehold. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and head out because if I wait any longer, I'm just gonna waste so much time. I gotta be careful. One time I backed up at a Target and the tree had like a long stem, like a long branch sticking out and it took my window, my rear view, like there's still glass. It was here, it was still glass. Let me show you guys. So that was a tree and the little branch there, it was sticking out and went through my window. Let's see if I can find any glass. 
like right there look all those little black pieces there that's all the rear view mirror from my car over a year ago okay anyways let's head out so we've made it we've made it I want to show you guys where we're going. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure by now all of the girlies know why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here for these. So I really, really want to get this one. And this one. Okay, give me a second to think. Okay, so I secured the bag. I have what I came to get, and I'll show you guys what I ended up selecting when I get home. About two days ago, I came to Dick's Sporting Goods because I wanted to get the little tumblers for the girls for their lunch boxes. I use the little Yeti tumblers. Um, they don't have handles or anything. They're just like little tumblers with a lid. Um, and I love it for their food. It keeps their food hot. Um, at least that's what they tell me because I make their breakfast, I mean, I make their lunch around 6 30 in the morning and they don't eat lunch until like 11 30 to 12 30 that's like their lunch time period one of them is a little earlier than the other they tell me that their food stays rather hot so that's my favorite i've gone through so many like little thermoses and little containers for their lunch and that's the one that just works for them so i came to get um to get that and i spotted all the stanleys I have always been a Yeti girl. I like Yetis. I think that they're very cool. They have great colors and things like that. I had never really seen Stanleys like in my face. Like I've never, I never, like I never had the intention of looking for them. So I'm sure that I've seen them. I just haven't remembered them. But because of this craze with Stanleys, I walk in and there's a huge shelf. Now, mind you, I think that because it was cl almost closing time for them, um, they had just restocked for I guess the next day and they had every color I'm talking about pastel pink the Tiffany mint color like that Tiffany blue the baby blue that I showed you guys inside the yellow that I showed you guys inside um, guys every color every pastel Easter color you can think of they had and I saw them and I was like wow they look so sleek because like I told you I like the Yetis but these look so sleek and elegant and just very clean very aesthetically pleasing so i was like man i, I don't really follow trends I'm, I'm i'm not trying to say it to like sound like a, i just I, I'm, I tend not to follow trends i'm not really into trends um if i so happen to like something that's a trend i just so happen to like it but i'm not somebody who really goes out of her way to follow a trend whether it's clothing or hair or the way to, to, to do something. I kind of have my own way of doing things and I'm really comfortable. Um, there's just things that I've always loved. I've been wearing bows in my hair since I was four and now this whole bow thing came about and I have bows from years. So I wear bows and everybody's like, oh my God, I love your bows, where'd you get them? I'm like, some of these things I've had since I was four, literally. So I'm just, I kind of don't follow, but the Stanley, it really got me in a chokehold because I saw that when I came um, two days ago and I was like, and do I really need it? I don't need it, but it's so beautiful. Anyways, I'll show you what I got when I got home when I do my little mini haul, but I'm waiting for my sister because we wanted to do um, Barnes & Noble, uh, Barnes & Noble, the, the bookstore. So while I'm waiting for her, I think I may go to Home Goods because I have a Home Goods here in this shopping center. I want to see if there's any cool like little spring finds, summer finds. I get really excited. Every time I go out, I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to get this for myself. I never end up getting it for myself. I always end up getting things for the girls. I get so much joy and satisfaction getting them clothing, getting them accessories for their lunchbox, getting them things for their room, uh, new little pillows. I just get so much joy in seeing joy in them. Oh my God, it just brings me so much happiness. Oh, I love it. I love them so much. Today's my day off and they're in school and I'm just like, I miss them so much. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna cry. There she is, Home Goods. I haven't been to Home Goods in a hot minute. I've been really concentrating on bringing you guys like DIYs and crafts for the holidays. So I haven't really done like any, um, like store halls or like looking at 
merchandise in store. I haven't done that in a while. Anyways, okay, I'm here. <clears throat> Let's check out what they have. Look at this, how cute. It's so cute. This screams my sister. Guys, these are like a legend. I've only heard about these in like TikTok videos and Instagram videos. These are little stools and they have lemons and they have limes. A lot of people take these and they'll just paint it like grapefruit or paint it like other things. These are so cool. I don't know what the price on these are, but let's see. 70, they're $70. So cool. I did a Valentine's themed um, gift idea with these books and this whole set is $34.99. This is a great price for it. It's a little bit cheaper than what I paid, if not the same exact price. But they also have independent books. I think I think that they're just tagging these with a price without knowing. But if you guys are looking for those books and you can't find them in Target, they have them in um, Home Goods. This is like a hot commodity. Everybody's online talking about these. This is the little Ratatouille Pixar and um, what do you call it? Ray Dunn collaboration. Look at this cute little pot. Oh my God, how cute. This, this is not a pot. These are like the little measuring uh, cups. So cute. Look at all those little measuring cups. And then they have like the little, little pot for flour. So cute. This is really cute. This is Tommy Bahama. It's good quality. And the, they have, like the collar has a lining. And it brings a little bag. I'm not a fan of the bag, but very, very good quality jacket. This is cute. This has to be Betsy Johnson. <laughs> Betsy. Oh, this one I love. I love star print. It's my favorite. And then they have little kisses. This is such a cute dress. I love it for think um, St. Patrick's. It has a little peplum bottom. Right. So cute. No, no. Picks like it looks so good. It was $19.99. Can't wait to show you guys. Okay, anyways, my sister's waiting for me at Barnes and Noble, so I'm gonna run on over. But guys, Marshalls has such a variety of beautiful pieces of clothing. And usually I'm not like a Marshalls go shopping at Marshalls for clothes type of girl because I don't really find a lot of things. But they are hitting it up lately, like the last couple of months. Se la están comiendo. Se la están comiendo. Super, super pretty clothes. Okay. <laughs> So everybody comes for the books and the good reads. I come for the children's books and for the calico critters. <gasps> they have new babies. I have $40 in credit here. <laughs> Can I get this please? <laughs> Stop 
little minis in the little... Are you going to be okay if I wander off to the actual books? I don't know. I don't Oh my god, how cute. This is one of the only places that carries calico critters. I love calico critters. Like, I love them. Look, I want the bakery, but I gotta fix my office first because I need it. I like to put things in my office and like display them. Look at this little girl. Fashion playset. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay, let's go to the kids book section. I love the kids book section. I love it because I love to do activities with the girls and I'll take a book and we'll do like, um, what do you call it? We'll do food crafts and we'll do um, arts and crafts based off of the book my favorite section Harry Potter Harry Potter <laughs> I love you Harry Potter this is art a monster book of monsters a little book bag For sure, Valentine's Day section. I love it. I see so many gift opportunities here. The question, are you going to read them or are you just going to stack them on a the little shelf? I'm going to read them. Really? Yeah. All books look the same to me. Like it's the same covers. It's... Ooh, that has a really long hair. Oh, that's disgusting. Someone wanted to leave the DNA. Oh, they ruined it. Oh, savages. The paleontologist. And it's 50% off. It's 50% off. Oh, you get a little deal with it. <laughs> so am I. Look at what I found. A, a, a slime. On. Slime. My question is who did it? Who did it? So I have a question for you. I want to read a book. But I'm not interested in reading. But I want something that's going to keep me engaged for about 10, 15 minutes. Where do I go? The children's section. This is cute. Sina found this. This is a, um, a guided journal for embracing your inner Slytherin. So I took the test. Okay. Long story short, there's um, a website, the Harry Potter website. You can take a test and you can determine what house you're in. I always fixed my answers because I wanted to be Gryffindor so bad. But then one time I said, I'm going to do this for real and I'm going to I'm gonna truly give answers that are me. And I got Slytherin. And then I took it again with my husband and then I, I got Hufflepuff. So then my husband's like, nah, nah, you're a Hufflepuff. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm a Slytherin. So Slytherin is not bad. Slytherins are not bad. They're ambitious, cunning, and they're leaders. See? I'm ambitious. How about a leader? I'm a leader. Sure. In your household, right? What are you saying? What are you leader saying? Leader of your children. I'm the leader of a pack. Of your children. You wanna talk some you wanna talk smack? You wanna talk smack? You wanna talk smack? Yeah. Tell me. You wanna talk who can smack? Take, who can take you seriously when you do that? And is looking at all the fancy books, all the books with big words, they have lots of syllables. Sydney's looking, looking for everything, it has big syllables, big words, Collectible big definitions. Sydney's has an found, X on it. When do we ever find anything with an X on it? You? Never. Besides me. A book. Oh, and it's pink. I just realized. Sydney, it is absolutely not your aesthetic. But it's pink. And it has an X on it. <sighs> Compared to the, all the other ones. No. There's only one X. Meant for you. Yeah. These books are very aesthetically pleasing. Yes. Oh, how pretty. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Emma. Persuasion. Oh. Let's go to my section now. <laughs> oh. Did you see Harry Potter's? 
Yeah, I already went there. Oh, I love these. I love children's books. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Finally, they changed this section. This had like, what do you call it? A Christmas up until yesterday. This is such a beautiful book. This one caught my attention. We've made it to Bahama Breeze, a little quick lunch. <laughs> You're gonna have some bad food? I don't know. Some naughty food? Let's see those feet in action. She's running for those toast tones. Okie dokie. Let's see what we're gonna have. I'm down to score for appetizer and dinner Ooh. by myself. <laughs> we're gonna see appetizer too. I'm gonna get an appetizer and I'm gonna get a, a meal. Bye. Uh. So Senya got the artichoke dip to share and I got the jerk shrimp. This is my favorite appetizer at this place. This is my top, one of my top appetizers in any restaurant. I said I'm gonna steal. To share. I know, but I feel, you know. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Senya with the burger girl. And I got the chicken tostones. So I'm heading to pick up the girls. They're getting out of school. Um, and then I will have to go to my house, drop off everything, and then I'll do a little haul for you guys. So. Okay, first things first is this beautiful little Trixie, um, like double-breasted dress. I absolutely love it. It was $19.99 over at Home Goods, uh, Marshalls, that combo. Um, and I just love it. It gives me Chanel vibes. All I think of is like this big puffy sleeved white top under with like a really pretty neck scarf and some really nice shoes oh my god i just think it's so cute okay so i picked up the baby blue stanley and the yellow stanley and then this one my husband bought for me because i wanted a yeti um and then i saw these in dick sporting goods and i was like oh my gosh anyways so i picked up both of them this is the 40 ounce this is the 30 ounce and this is a 35 ounce so I have, I guess, a little bit for everything. This was probably going to be my, like, um, like theme park one. Um, and this is probably going to be, like, day-to-day, -day, swap them out. But this is definitely going to be my theme park one. This is, like, heavy. I mean, my experience with Yeti is that they're super heavy-duty. They're, they're great products. So this is going to be, like, my theme park one. So I want to decorate it with, like, the little things that people put on straws and stuff. Um, and that's my goal <laughs> for these. But, um, so I bought these and then at Target, they had these super cute little, uh, boot covers for some reason. I knew this was a pastel yellow. Like this is really, really pastel yellow. It looks brighter on camera and this looks more orange on camera than it is in person. Um, but this, I was like, oh, this is going to look great. And in ca on camera, it looks like a highlighter yellow. And in person, it looks a little bit lighter, but you can definitely tell the difference. So I'll probably use this like when I'm taking these places so they don't get like scratched up in the bottom. These were a dollar. They have a whole bunch of colors on, uh, at Target. I showed you guys in the video earlier. Um, but for a dollar, it's not bad. And it'll keep your, your tumblers protected in the bottom so they don't get scuffed or messed up. So I got a couple of sets for the girls. Super, super cute. Just really comfy um, to go to the parks, um, to um, do Universal, to do Islands. Um, so I got this Polly Pocket t-shirt over at Target. Polly Pocket is going to, I'm telling you right now, Polly Pocket is going to make like this huge comeback. Word is that um, there's going to be a Polly Pocket movie. I'm not 100% certain on it, um, but that's what it is. They're saying there's going to be a Polly Pocket movie. And if you know me, you know that I was an, like a huge Polly Pocket collector when I was younger. I still have Polly Pockets um, from the 90s, from the early 90s. So this is like a huge deal um, for me. And then Coco adores Polly Pockets. So I got both of these t-shirts for the girls with some matching shorts. These are super comfy. 
super super soft super comfy the t-shirt was $8.99 and these shorts were I think $12 $12 so we got that and then I got these super cool little biker shorts with the little frills at the bottom I believe these were $6 six but this is great for the summer or spring when you're going to the parks universal island then we're going to jump over to this t-shirt i love this t-shirt i'm not a big fan of like the, the disney clothing that is like too themey because i feel like it takes away but i thought what pretty little top for valentine's with like a huge tulle skirt because this is more cropped with a huge huge tulle skirt and like a little french beret i don't know why on camera this looks like such cheap quality it looks like I've washed it 15 times, but it's brand new. Like it has its tags. So th these were $12, but I just, I really liked that it had like Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, <sniffs> Lady and the Tramp. And it doesn't have anything in the back, but I would have loved to put something in the back, almost like a spirit jersey. And then I picked up this little um, lilac and white striped t-shirt. You know what it is? It's like the light coming from outside. It makes all these clothes look like super aged. This is really, really cute. This was $6, but I thought like super cute with some jean shorts, maybe like a little jacket or a blazer, some sneakers. Love this. Up next, I picked up these Cat and Jack um, little slippers. They have um, glitter all over the little straps and they're super comfy on the inside. So I picked these up for Aloha and for Coco. So they had those. And now I'm gonna show you my favorite of all the shoes that I saw. So these were my favorite from all the shoes. This is like they're these flower shoes, but I believe it's Jeffrey Campbell that came out with a pair of shoes that are these same flowers. It's crazy. But I was able to find it for um, Aloha. I was able to find it for Coco. And look here, they had some for me. So I thought this was just so pretty for spring. I just thought that it looked just so nice together because we have that little matching um, touch, all of us. And so these are the shoes. These shoes were $19.99. These give me total trolls vibes. And these shoes were $24.99. And then my shoes were $29.99. But I absolutely love these. This is great for like a bride. If you're doing like a little bridal shower and you wanna change shoes, they have the heels of this. They have them in heels and they have them in flats. So this is a great buy if you're going to be a bride like for the 2024 year. What a great pair of shoes to have for the shoes that you change into either at your bridal shower or a bachelorette party. They're just so delicate and pretty. I bought them. That's all you need to know. I bought them. They were $9.99. Now I'm going to show you guys the books I purchased for the girls. Um, I love these where is and then like the place or who was and then the person these books are phenomenal um aloha has read a whole bunch of these and she like she's 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 obtained so much information from artists and um even wars because they have book on war, books on wars and the civil rights movement and like everything they have books on it and they pretty much take the content and they make it child like child age appropriate so that your child is not reading something that's, you know, too strong for them. Like they really take the material and they they make sure that they're giving them the content, but just at an age appropriate level. So this one is for Aloha, who was Walt Disney. And then I got this one for Coco. It's the same concept, but Aloha is um, more is more of an advanced reader. She's further along. She's older than Coco. So her vocabulary is, you know, far more... Um, developed and Coco is getting there but they need different books for different ages so I was able to find these two so now Aloha can read this one and Coco could read this one these are books I'm going to give them when we are taking a trip to Disney in a um, in another video I'm going to talk about um, like how I pack up things for them to go to trips and one of my main things is books so this is what I do so Aloha will get this one who was Walt Disney and then I am this is like another series. It's called I Am. And then it's either a person or a place or whatever. I Am Walt Disney. And then this one's for Coco. And then I did the same thing for Leonardo da Vinci. I did one for Aloha. And then I did the same thing for Coco. But you see, it's the same I Am books. And then the same Who Was books. So Leonardo da Vinci for Aloha. And then for Coco. And then we wanted to do a little bit more history. Um, Coco is always asking me, 
like about her name so coco chanel is why so i got this one for coco so she sees like the thought behind coco chanel and then i got where's the coliseum for aloha because aloha has been to the coliseum coco has been to the coliseum but they were very young and um, they're learning about these things in school now so i want them to like read up on it guys that is it for me i am pretty much going to wrap everything up put everything away and i am going to possibly shower go to sleep no no i still have many hours ahead of me um but definitely shower and just get some rest probably gonna watch a movie with the girls but i had a blast taking you guys along with me today had a lot of fun i hope you guys like some of the finds that we had maybe you see these things and you're like oh my god i want that i want it and i can understand it Anyways, thank you so much for following along today. Don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. And I will see you all in our next video. But until then, don't forget to...